Today I'm going to cover how to install a remote control on a ceiling fan. Uh, this is for a basic two-wire system and uh, if you've faced this before you know a two-wire system will either turn everything on and off uh, the fan as well as the lights. There's remote controls for these and uh, I'll be installing one on this showing you how I'm doing it. So safety first, one of the things we want to do is make sure that we turn the electricity off. We want to validate that uh, or verify that and I'll do that with a voltmeter. So I've got the uh, black lead against ground, um, connecting there, I've got that red lead up there, you can see 122 volts, that's what I expect. Other side of the switch should have nothing. One thing I have noticed here, is that when they built this house, they used a white wire, which is pretty normal, but it's not acceptable. A wall switch should have two black wires, and if this were done to code, what they should have done is uh, either painted or taped over that white with black, red, blue, or any other color that indicates it's, it's a hot lead because both of these wires are hot. Technically, uh, with the switch off, only this wire is hot. With the switch on, they're both hot. There's 120 volts on, on both of these circuits. So when I do this, I'll be taping up that white wire to bring it up to code and make sure that it meets uh, all the requirements of uh, light switch wiring. The first thing we'll be doing is replacing the wall switch. Uh, this is the old standard wall switch. Power is off. I verified that. And um, releasing these is quite simple. Just, you really need a screwdriver with a pretty fine tip that will slide in there. And those are off. So I've got some black tape that I'm going to put on this white lead. This is technically a hot lead shouldn't be white, it really should be black or some other color other than white or, or green, which would signify brown. Um, power is turned off. Here's a quick view of what the receiver looks like. There's uh, three wires, one green for ground, and then uh, two black wires. Uh, the two black wires are technically both hot. The way this, receive, or this uh, switch works, it'll constantly feed 120 volts to the ceiling uh, fan and it'll control uh, whether the fan is off, well, A, you can shut it off that way, it'll open up that circuit, or using these buttons it'll, uh, it'll send an RF signal to the receiver um, right above the ceiling fan and um, that receiver will, uh, will then control whether the light's on or the, the speed of the, uh, of the fan. One thing I want to do... All of these remotes have tip switches. Uh, you can see that there. So this is basically the transmitter. And you can set it. If you have multiple remotes in your home, you probably want to have them all set differently. Okay, this is the second one I've installed. So quite simply, I'm going to just, uh, flip over the switch on two. And uh, I'll do the same thing on the receiver that goes in the ceiling. You can see that there. And it just basically changes the identification on the uh, on this particular system. So at this point, all I'm going to do is quite simply. There's no orientation in terms of uh, which the which one needs to be hot to which black. Uh, at least for this system, there's not. So I'm going to be connecting the two black wires and the ground. to the, uh, the wall box. Alright, I've got the box uh, neatly set into the wall. The wires are accommodating themselves quite nicely. Good way to upgrade a wall switch. Um, of course, not all of your wall switches are going to need remote control capabilities, but there you go. That is the uh, finished wall switch. So we've got the wall switch completed. The next thing we'll be doing is installing the receiver in the ceiling. And there's uh, two sets, really three sets of wires. Um, on this side, you'll see a black and a white. 
This basically goes directly to the black and white that's already up in the ceiling box. One is a neutral, the other one's hot. This is where power will be coming from, from the wall switch. Then you've got, on the other side, blue, white, and black. The black is the fan wire. And on most of these systems, they're pretty, they're pretty clearly marked on the wire itself. Uh, the blue is for the light, and the white is the neutral. This other wire, don't do anything with. That's the antenna for the re receiver. Um, if you cut this thing off, it won't work. But it may work, but it's unlikely. So, we'll be doing this uh, right now. I'll be installing this. First thing I'll be doing is hooking up the black and white wires. <laughs> After that, I'll go through, get the fan ready for install, um, put the fan body up, um, and start mounting the fan blades after I connect the uh, black, white, and blue wires for the fan. So the next thing I'll be doing is installing uh, the remote or the receiver uh, up into the box. Again, there's uh, two wires, black and white on one side, which is the electricity feeding into the receiver. Then there's control wires, blue for the lights, black for the fan, white for neutral, and your antenna receiver. Um, I'll be connecting the uh, black and white wires first. The white's neutral. Uh, what you'll typically find is that the wire nuts that come in these kits are pretty chintzy, so I got my own, which they're pretty decent, good size, and also have good coverage in terms of uh, not leaving anything exposed. After I get these on, I'm going to tuck everything in there and try to groom the wires so they're as out of the way as possible, but still accessible, so I can connect the uh, ceiling fan wires as well as the ground wires. So these are done. I'm going to tuck them up into the box. And while I'm doing that, also I'm going to uh, get this remote in here and try to get all the wires out of the way but they're still accessible. So I kind of flush up against the ceiling if you can see that. And the idea behind this is I'll be able to get the, the ball mount for the fans going to sit in here. And I'll also be able to connect the fan wires as well as the ground wires which we have here. I've got the uh, ceiling motor prepped. Wires are cut. They give you about three feet of wire on these things. Um, Presumably if you're going to put a longer pole um, for a higher ceiling. But I'm going to go ahead and install this. You can see the uh, cover needs to be put on here. It's going to make the wiring a little bit challenging because it is close to the ceiling. But uh, we'll get through that and I'll bring the camera up there and I'll show you what the wiring looks like after I'm done. Alright, so I'm going to be installing the uh, fan motor. Uh, so that I can get this... challenge is going to be getting to that wiring. Uh, it was a little bit of a ch challenge just getting that in there and then tucking everything away so that we can put that remote control. I know that last shot was a little bit difficult. Um, probably couldn't see what I was doing but I'll try to show you what I've done. Uh, up here we've got the black and white wire coming from the ceiling uh, tied to the power feeder on the uh, remote, which is also black and white. These are the uh, blue, black, and white wires coming off the remote, going to the fan. And up here, we have the ground wire. So there's two ground wires, one's for the, uh, the ceiling mount, the other one's from the fan, and then of course there's one coming from the ceiling, those are all tied together. And the whole idea here now is once we have this together to get this tucked in to, uh, to this point. So I'll be working on that in a moment and I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I'm done. Alright, so now I'm going to tuck that remote up underneath the mount. This is going to be fun because there's not a lot of a, a lot of wiggle room in terms of how to, how to push that in there. But it looks like it went in there cleanly. 
I'm going to tuck the wiring in here within the bolt um, and actually get it on top over the, uh, over the uh, remote or the receiver. And the idea is that I'm going to be able to put this cover up here and seal everything up. I'll be getting the screws for that moment I'm doing that. I'm going to go ahead and get this collar hooked up so that it's snug to the ceiling, covers up all the wiring. And now for the super fun part, and I'm being facetious in case you haven't noticed, is putting on the fan blades. These are always fun. Um, Well, I finished getting the fan up, got the light fixture, the blades, uh, and even the bulbs installed. And now it's time to test it. I've uh, gone ahead and turned on the circuit breaker, so let's give it a shot. Light first. There we go. Those are LED lights. They did come with the kit. And set the brightest. They are dimmable. The remote will dim as well as brighten. So we have light now. Um, fan, I'm going to go low speed. And it is blowing downwards, so uh, since it's winter now, I'll switch that momentarily. There is a little switch on the side of it to let me do that. Go medium speed. I would say I got lucky. Um, one thing that fan looks to be perfectly balanced and I doesn't look like I'm going to have to uh, mess around with little balance weights or anything like that. That's why it pays to invest in a quality fan. Anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully this was helpful to you and stay tuned for more.